Dimensioning for manufacturing processes. In the manufacturing processes, we have counter bores, spot faces, and countersinks. A counter bore is a large diameter hole machined at one end, and a smaller hole goes through through it. We put a fastener in there so that the head sits down and does not get stick up. Uh, the spot face is the same thing. It's a larger diameter uh, hole machined at one end, and a small hole goes all the way through. But the large diameter hole only goes down a small amount, and it's recessed for things like a washer. Uh, a countersink is a cone-shaped recess on one end, and then a drill hole through the middle allows uh, the fastener, cone-shaped fastener head to recess down into the object. We usually denote this in a note, and in this case here, we have a counter bore, and it tells the diameter of the outside hole first, then it has the diameter of the small hole, uh, second, and then it has the depth of the counter bore of the large diameter, how far that goes down. And so the large hole is an, is an inch diameter, small is a quarter inch, and it goes down in depth uh, a quarter inch. To do this, I'm going to erase this, uh, we will set up a dimension style, typically with a DG and uh, GDT, which is Geometric Dimension and Tolerancing, and if I modify, you'll see I'll put a text style, and the text style, I choose a text style that has the GD and T uh, SHX, so that's Geometric Dimension and Tolerancing shapefile, and that uh, has some of the symbols that we need, uh, so that's the first step we like to do. And then, when I go up, I want to use a dim diameter command. So I use dim diameter, I select on the outside hole, and I drag it up and I place it here. Then I click on it, so actually I double click on it, and then I get the value of the text showing up. Uh, and then I pull this apart, a little, get, get some more room, this is, makes things easier. It's a little easier to edit it than it is to create it in the beginning because you get to see it a little better. Then uh, I just click at the end here and I put a space in here. Now I got my I beam flash in here. Now I want to put that counterboard symbol. Well, that's a lowercase v, and boom, and it puts it in. Well, how did I know it's a lowercase v? Well, if I, I'm going to come up here and I'm going to say, all right, next I want to put the diameter symbol in. Well, if I just came up to the, the symbol and I said diameter, boom, puts the diameter symbol in. But notice if I come up here and I go to other, in the other, if I choose my G, D, and T, I can see my symbols. Here is my counter board symbol, and it's a Latin small letter V. And next, I'm going to need this over here, which is my depth symbol. And notice it's a small letter X. So I'm going to cancel out here. That's how I found out what they were. So my diameter of my small hole uh, is going to be, if I click in here, um, 0.250. And then I'm going to put a small X in there. And I'm going to have to stretch this out a little bit better. There we go. And then I'll put a little space. And then I'll put the depth down in here at like 0 0.0625. Okay. And then when I'm done, I can close the text editor. And it created my uh, manufacturing process notes. So in this case, it told me the counter bore was an inch in diameter out here. The counter bore actually, the small bore is 0.25, and the depth of the large diameter is 0 0.0625. So that's how we set up for uh, manuf dimension manufacturing uh, processes.